In this video, we're going to take a look at the Bushnell Core 24 megapixel trail camera. What's up, people? So it's October here in Michigan 2019. People are starting their archery season off. I got a Bushnell camera here. I figured it'd be a good time to share that with you guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at the box here. As you can see, it is the Bushnell Core No Glow. Some of the specs on the box here, 80 foot night range, 24 megapixel, 0.3 second trigger speed. It's got a two year warranty, one second recovery rate, and it shoots up to 1080p for video. So this is what the camera looks like outside of the box. Pretty simple design. There's the strap that it comes with. The metal buck buckle on it makes it nice you don't have to worry about it snapping on you like the plastic ones do take a look at the back this is the bushnell 24 megapixel core series and this is a no glow camera so you're not going to see at nighttime you won't see any of the red leds or anything going off to alert game or anything like that you're also going to use these cameras for intruders and this uh will help so that it's not detectable people walking through your trails or around your house or cabin or anything like that look at the bottom here for an external battery there's a mount for a tripod mount Here's what the lock looks like on the side. This uh, latch is plastic along with the lock. So if you do plan on using some type of padlock, just know it still can be easily broken off. Somebody's trying to steal SD card or damage your camera. That's what it looks like. With the door open there. Now this camera is waterproof. I did not see like a rubber seal around these edges. Usually there's a rubber seal here. You guys can see that. Did not see a rubber seal, but it does seal pretty tight. So only time to tell if the condensation or moisture gets in there. On the side here, that's where your SD card goes. There's your screen. Here's your selector button for off, set up, and on. Here's your directional buttons here to go through the options. Mode button. That's your enter button there. And then right here is actually ejects your battery tray on the bottom here. Go ahead and pull that out and I'll show you the battery tray. Okay, there's the battery tray outside of the camera. It is made also of plastic, but it does take six AA batteries, which usually the cameras have been taking eight. This one takes six, so it's two less, but it's still supposed to last up nine months to a year. That's what the inside of it looks like. It allows you to slide this battery tray inside there, and then it clicks. To lock it in there all right so we'll go through the options here slide this button up it takes you to set up hopefully you guys can see the screen there there's your SD card and your battery and it has your date your time there you can set your clock you can go video or camera mode there there's your image size maxed out 24 megapixels and you can go all the way down to three megapixels there. Can, that's the number of photos to capture. Go down to one. All the way up to five is the max. Go ahead, scroll over. There's your video size there. Your max video here is 1920 by 1080. And you can go down to 640 by 360 or anywhere in between here. You go to 720. 
depending on what size card you got there. You can change the video length for how long you want the video to record for. The intervals in between the record time you can set. That's the format. And this is the night vision shutter. If you want long range or low, there's your camera input. If you want the timestamp to be on, field scan on or off, coordinates on or off, and video sound on and off. There's a sensor level there, low, normal, high, or auto. Then there's your time mode. Now, so you guys are aware, when I do my camera settings, I'm going to do it at 24 megapixels, so it's maxed out. I'm going to do uh, the three photos, probably. And then for video size here, I'll max that out at 1080. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll hang up the camera here on this tree right in front of me. And then you guys can see the view. I'll be walking past the camera, left to right, right to left, coming towards the camera, and we'll get an idea of what the range is that it picks up and how good the quality of the pictures are. As you guys can see, it's daylight. It's about midday right now, uh, but we do got some overhead trees here that are gonna be blocking the sunlight a little bit. But there's definitely enough sunlight out here to get a clear quality picture. So we'll put it up on the tree and we'll see how it does. All right, just to give you guys an idea of the distance here, there's the camera in front of me. I'm gonna swoop around. That tree there is gonna be 20 yards. So right there's 20 yards. There's the camera. Just to give you guys an idea. All right, guys, so that's going to be about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this camera? What's your favorite brand to go with? Also, if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel here, hit that subscription button, and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.